Tigers Radio, the home of Gloucester City. A surprisingly quiet Wadden Road saw out a tough game for the Tigers, who, despite battling well, fell victim to some superb passing from the visitors and a brilliant performance by midfielder Adam Boulder, who pulled the strings for an extremely effective Harrogate Town. The Tigers will protest that it's their seventh game in 21 days, and this had a huge effect. But in reality, City had little of the game and were constantly shut out by a very professional performance by the North Yorkshire outfit. Despite the result, it was the Tigers who started the better, but a teasing free kick from Lewis Hogg was well stopped by Craig McGillinray. However, Harrogate Town were put thoroughly in the driving seat on nine minutes. Flicked back in by Woods and cleared by Holland to the halfway line, where Bloomer spoons it up into the air, bobbing around Gloucester City territory. And the shot comes in, and that is a great goal. Tom Platt has met that with a left foot volley, and Harrogate have taken an early lead. Free kick came in, header up bobbing around on the edge of the area, just bounced, and Platt has just unleashed a volley that Mike Green didn't even see until it hit the back of the net. Eight minutes gone, Gloss City nil, Harrogate Town one. A hopeful ball from Matt Bloomer found Platt in the penalty area. The York City low knee then thundered the bouncing ball into the top corner. A great start for Simon Weaver's team. The great start became a perfect start on 15 minutes. A bumbling run from Dave Merris on the wing saw the left back cross a teasing ball, only for Matt Coop to challenge Danny Forrest in the area, seeing the referee point straight to the spot. Dominic Knowles picked the ball up straight away, so a fancy this one. Mike Green, who, as we said, has got a strapped up knee. Referee blows his whistle. Knowles, short run up. Sends Mike Green the wrong way. And Harrogate Town lead by two goals to nil. And we've only played 15 minutes here at one row. City seemed shell-shocked by Harrogate's early onslaught and attempted to gain some standing in the contest, but a wild effort from Adam Mann was saved well by McGillinray. Yet the visitors kept on coming and only a deflection from goalkeeper Mike Green forced Michael Wood's shot just wide of the post. A great piece of play from the town midfielder found Knowles again and as the striker unleashed his shot, defender Mike Green produced a stunning last-ditch challenge to deny the Harrogate men. The Tigers were restricted to efforts from outside the area and after a trademark run down the left, Danny Andrew could only find the gloves of McGillin Ray. The contest could have been easily out of reach, but a glaring miss from Woods kept the Tigers' hopes alive. The strike had been played through, and despite being one-on-one -on -one with Green, missed the target despite it being easier to score. The second half had started with the visitors still on top, but an attempted chip from afar by Knowles was well saved by Green. The game continued as a war of attrition, with Harrogate producing a thoroughly professional performance but a forgettable second half, halting any chance of a comeback for David Mayhew's men. The contest ended 2-0 to Harrogate, leaving Gloucester 14th in the Blue Square North. A clinical performance by the visitors, and surely a game to forget for the Tigers. You know, there was a bit of criticism flying around that we should have killed Geisley off the other day. Um, and I stuck up for the forwards, but I basically said, if you're a forward player out there today, I'm good enough. And I want a reaction on uh, Tuesday night against Auction. Um, but they were better all over and um, they've done a job on us, really. We sometimes struggle when people play that holding role. And uh, we changed team selections. Well, I wasn't sure Dan was going to be fit, but he was. They had a striker, they had a centre half out. And um, I was quite, you know, I was hoping that that was going to end thing, but the lad didn't normally play centre up, right back, and cigar out basically all game. And, um, and it was just a bad day, really, bad day at the office. Tigers Radio, the home of Gloucester City.